up, folks? This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a wild one, that's for sure. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Magnetize, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 22, NASDAQ's up 59, S&P's up 13 and a half, gold contract up $30.10, trade at 1822 an ounce. We have silver up 51 cents, $23.92 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 229. $75.46 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 28 ticks, trading 114.23. The 30-year up a point and a half at 131.14 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 1,091 ticks, trading 104.038. The euro is at 106. The yen is out here at a price point of 135, and the British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We got to bring the futures up first, folks, because if you're in front of a machine today, it's quite a day. There's no doubt about it. What you had at the when the CPI came out, the bottom line is that you had the S&P futures go up 160 points. They made it up to a price point of uh, 4180. Now, that was only there for a split second, came back down, but then did they counter, you know, another move back up to the 4153 and then just gave it up in spades, man. I mean, this is this is a classic bear market move, period. And this is going to be a problem, you know, because now what you're going to see, I suspect, number one, the S&Ps are going to go right after this low. You can see this last, the last, um, where is, here it is. Okay, so the last, are we still on? Okay, so you, you have one more minute on this bar, you can see the acceleration. I got the S&Ps up, you see the acceleration? You get 34,000 contracts, that's after you went up with 24,000 and you're only coming into uh, 34,000. Yeah, you're coming, well, the, the, the low is 45. My point goes like this. When, well, you can see what happens here. You, you gave it up in spades. You did little tiny bounces, like not even 0.382s. You had volume come out of it again, this is volume's gonna come out again, man. This is not cool. Not cool if you want markets to go to higher price. We're going to take a look at the NQs. What do you have with the NQs up here? NQs, the same setup. You're up 73 points right now. And the NQs, bottom line, had a high out here today, folks, of 12,229. Yeah, you're reading that right, okay? So inside of the NQs, we're talking about it's already given up over 500 points, okay? Um, just this this is the problem and it the nqs are actually a little bit clearer too because you, you're going to see that what was that one you're going to see that how you're coming into that downdraft the downdraft that was created out here on the uh 13th of september that's stopping things like that and that's ice that's a classic ice by the way okay you know you you, you, you trade there you drop below it you come up to it so now let's go back to the SPY again, because what we're going to see also, now this is where it gets tricky, okay, is that you're going to see this, see this volume expansion there? Well, you got a volume expansion. The kicker is that the expansion is not going to be enough. And this is going to be, bottom line, a market that still wants to go south. You see the, the, the line that I have, uh, that's the day of the 30th. See that 144 million shares? We're only doing 93. You're not holding 407. That's saying you're going right back down to the bottom of the consolidation. You know, as, you know the gap is wide open again. So my take is that that's where we're going. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX because we know that the volatility is going to continue all week long. There's no doubt about that. So we take a look at the the Qs and what do we have with the Qs? The same type of step. Now the volume of the Qs is going to be closer though because. They'll actually do it because we we're at 68 right now. You needed 74, you know, so that's divergence. What that specifically means is that, you know, when you get a higher price with higher volume, that's where the markets want to go. So you have the S&P the, the like saying, no, nope, no way, not even close. Um, this here, 
it's a toss up, you know. And then we go back into, well, let's go to gold because gold bottom line is held up. That being said, um, these gold, gold equities, uh, yeah, let's go to gold first because gold did get 219,000 contracts. Let me just check. I believe that's going to be good contract volume. I know it's good contract volume, but I was just trying to, there it is right there. What is that? That's 226. We're going to get 226. Um, and price-wise, price-wise, we're holding price too. I mean, anything over, you know, 818 is saying, hey, man, you're going to get higher price. So it's going to be intriguing, man, watching how the market reacts tomorrow to, you know, Powell and his team um, as to basically what they have to say. Now, when we take a look at the dollar, the dollar came down with a vengeance. That being said, uh, the bottom line is that, you know, we're 500 ticks above where we were. Now, that's not a lot, man. That's the bottom line. Uh, we're at uh, 104.054. Uh, and in order to get basically in this higher range, you got to get to 104.636. So overnight here, you're going to see, uh, <laughs> well, not overnight. Uh, what we're going to be dealing with is at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, they come out with a statement at 2.30. They're going to come out with um, a news conference. We get Tesla. Oh, yeah, Tesla. Tesla's a monster ABC down, folks. Okay, Tesla's breaking the B point, breaking it with volume out here. Um, this is, you know, you can see that you can see the break. The break is yeah, it's, it's even on a weekly ABC down. We're gonna have enough volume, even though we started on a Monday, for a weekly ABC down. You need you need volume of uh, 439 million on. A, oh no, 331 million on a weekly, and we're already down one. 49. So your A point on this is uh, 237. Your B point is, uh, what is that? 166. So you got, uh, oh, 72. Uh, that's okay. That's a 120. Tesla, here we come. Yeah. He's got his problems. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.